So we are delighted to hear that northeast of Farns Deep has been designated as a highly protected marine area. If you stand on the coast of Northumberland and look out towards the North Sea, around 55 kilometres offshore, you'll find northeast of Farns Deep. And it's a huge site at nearly 500 kilometres squared. If you were to dive down to the seabed within that site, um, you'd dive down to anywhere between 50 and 100 metres. What would you find on that seabed? Well, you'd find a real range of different sediment types. So things like sand and mud and gravel which uh, don't necessarily sound particularly interesting, but actually those habitat types are really important as a home to a whole wealth of wildlife. So we're talking about things like sponges, different types of worms, uh, anemones, uh, crustaceans like barnacles and lobsters, as well as different fish species. So things like dragonets um, and flatfish as well. There's one very special resident within northeast of Farns Deep, and that is the ocean quahog. And I've got one of those shells here. So I found this walking down my local beach, and it is quite rare to see them in life because they bury themselves under the seabed. If that seabed surface is disturbed, um, it can cause damage to this shell. Um, it's relatively uh, brittle. That's something that we, we really don't want to happen. We want this animal to thrive. And that's something that it will now be able to do within northeast of Barnes Deep, as um, no, no human disturbance will be happening within that site. So great news for the ocean quahog. The site is also home to um, lots of mud, as I've mentioned, and that mud is important not just for our wildlife, but also from a carbon perspective as well. So we know that mud is what we call a blue carbon habitat type. So a type of habitat that is storing carbon for us, much like forests and peat bogs do on land, um, types of marine habitat, things like seagrass and salt marsh, as well as subtidal mud, so mud on the sea floor can also store carbon. So in protecting this site, we're stopping that carbon from being, dis uh, being disturbed within the mud, um, and that keeps carbon where we need it, in the ground or in this case, in the seabed floor. 